this is our new clutch but to install it back it's better to have a jack we don't have it so i bought an aligning tool like this this tool is used to align the the tips when you're installing the disc on the clutch it should be aligned the upper tips with the lower tips because if not they are not gonna be aligned you will not be able to insert the transmission the input shaft is not gonna go inside so you can use a aligning tool like this and make sure it goes all the way in from another side i was thinking to make a jack from this one but i'm afraid it's gonna break because it's plastic so i bought a transmission input shaft it's 80 dollars from the tech equipment so this one is gonna be i'm gonna be able to weld it and make a jack so it's gonna be much more easier to install the clutch back Now we're gonna weld it and attach it to the jack. This is how it's gonna look. And right, like this is gonna be too high, so I'm gonna weld this so I will be able to close it and open. The clutch is gonna be right here, so we'll be able to close it down to go under the truck and after we're gonna lift it up. This is how it's gonna look. want to try it this is how it's gonna work we will be able to open it and like this it's not gonna be so high so we'll have enough space to go under the truck gonna stay like this we're gonna install a rod so we'll be able to adjust it back and forward and the input shaft is gonna go like this we're gonna tighten it so we will be able to lift it up and down and back and forth like this and like this Our jack is almost ready.
it works. You just installing the jack that you have under it and just lift it up. It's right in its place. Now I'm just gonna push it forward and the clutch should go easily back. The shaft should go in the middle of the flywheel. Right there. Now the clutch is in its position. No, and we're going to install all the bolts. The new clutch it's back in its place. Now we need to install the transmission. Mm -hmm. 